Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to do a little experiment. We are going to take a look to see which crop is most valuable. In other words, in this game if you're growing it, and, we, and unfortunately there are some varying factors, so we cannot get exact numbers as far as what crop exactly is worth the exact amount because prices fluctuate. So what we're going to do is uh, the baseline that we're going to have for selling is we're going to find the location that pays the most for each item. So by doing that, we're going to hopefully figure out which crop is the most productive in the game. You know, if we had a baseline price, like one location to sell, and they were always the same prices, we could say, well, that's easy to figure out. But it's a little harder because the prices fluctuate, and once again, there's like 15 different places to sell items. So what we're going to do is to make our baseline, we're going to go with the highest price that's available um, and I'm also going to try to do a one-time sell-off. So uh, we're going to sell each item at once so the prices are not changing between loads. That way all the loads are done at the same time frame, if you will, or same moment in time. Um, another thing that we're going to do to kind of make a baseline, uh, we're, we're going to use this field and obviously just be using this field alone. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm getting the cost per seed uh, so that we're because because some seeds cost more and so we're gonna figure out how much seed it takes to seed this field of each type I would imagine the grains your wheat barley canola and grass well grass we're not doing but wheat barley and canola will all take the same amount of seed for this field potatoes are definitely going to take more seed the potatoes are um, they don't go as far as far as seed goes because they're larger so we're gonna I'm going to be taking that into account, cost per seed, and I'm also going to be taking into the account the amount of seed that we have to, to use, and I'm going to subtract that from our total. So we'll find out how much each trailer load is worth minus the amount it costs to plant the seed. We are not going to be doing any fertilizing. So this is going to be just straight up planting and uh, gathering information. The whole point of this video is not to find out how much money you're going to make, but to find out which of these crops is most valuable so that's what we're going for which one's going to make the most money for the same amount of land uh, and so we have um, and also the other thing I want to make clear is that we're only looking at the crops that are included in the game so any kind of crops that are mod crops are not going to be included in this study so here we go I'm gonna get started here the first one we're gonna try is going to be corn and what I found is that the corn slash uh, sweet beets cost 60 cents per seed. So we're going to plant corn and find out how much seed it takes to plant this field. And we will take that and multiply the seed that we used, the amount, which is 9,000 minus whatever the amount is that we end up using. And then we'll take a look and figure out, we'll, tr we'll figure out um, what the cost was seed-wise for us to plant this field and then Obviously, we'll subtract the total when we're done. So let us I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'll catch up with you in a second here when I'm done planting, growing, and harvesting. Okay, discovery number one. All seed, regardless of, of what type of seed, is 60 cents per seed. So, uh, or per unit of seed. Yeah, this holds 12,000 units. I'm not saying that that's 12,000 seeds. It's probably in liters. So, since everything else in this game is in liters, <laughs> I would imagine that we are talking about 60 cents per liter of seed. So, whether you're doing potatoes, sweet beets, corn, wheat, grass, canola, whatever, you're paying 60 cents per liter of seed. So, I'm just letting you guys know that right now. That's, the, uh, that's one of our baselines. And that's kind of cool. That makes it a little bit easier to do our math uh, in the long run. So far, I have planted corn as the first crop on the field and it cost me $106.80 worth of seed to plant that field. So we'll subtract that out of the cost when it comes time. As you can see the corn is starting to grow already. I've advanced time and I'm going to download the manual time advanced mod that makes this go a lot faster. So I will be right back. And thanks to our accelerate time mod it is already morning and the corn is grown. So let's go ahead and harvest these stuff, these stuffs, and find out how much corn we get. 
and how much it's worth. I'm going to let this guy do his job. We will be back momentarily. And so with the miracles of modern mod making, we can watch the day grow tonight and the night grow back. And in the morning, our harvest is complete. Ta-da! <laughs> great, and of course, all these great demands are coming up. We're going to have to wait for those to get over with, too. Let's grab our harvester. It's time to do our second crop. So we've done the corn. Now we're going to go for... Whoops. Forgot to unfold this guy. Sweet beets. Sweet beets. And off he goes. All right, catch you back in a minute. All right, well, we got quite a bit of sweet beets out of that. Uh, in fact, our number here, and I'm going to mark this down, the corn had 5,338 liters, I think is what this is measured in, if I remember correctly. Uh, we get 15,559 liters of sweet beets. Now, why they measure them in liters, once again, that's a mystery to all of us, but they do. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and put these in the second trailer. So we finished both of the uh, items that come out of that particular spit, spasticular um, cedar. Come on, guys, put the pipe out. Let's go unload this thing. What am I missing? There we go, overloading. And I'm going to fill in my spreadsheet here. So, so far we know that both corn and sweet beets take 178 liters of seed. I'm assuming they're measuring them in liters. It doesn't say, but that's the assumption. The cost of the seed to plant that field is $106.80. I collected 5,338 liters of corn and 15,559 liters of sweet beets, both from the same field. So, um, the interesting thing is that, you know, once again, these are not fertilized. So I would imagine you could double those numbers or close to it by actually applying fertilizer or manure or even, uh, what was the other one that you can do, like the uh, uh, slurry? Uh, they all have the same result, so you're going to have you know, similar results by adding, you know, or the same result, basically adding in any of those materials to this harvest. So, um, it is important to seed. Oh, you know, we missed a couple. So let's go ahead and add these in. I can see there's a couple units here that did not get picked up. We got zero, six. Want to be precise here. Every inch of the field needs to get covered. So, and there's three more. Ten. Oh, that's a nice round number. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and turn this off and dump those in. So that brings us up from 15.559 to 15.569. Um, and I'll mark that on my spreadsheet. So, that's it for the horse, or the, is that the horse cedar? I don't remember. That's it for the sweet beet slash corn cedar. And we will now move on to the potatoes is the next thing that I'm going to run. And we'll see how many liters of potatoes we get. Once we're done, what I'm going to give you when we're finished is the value per liter um, and also the overall value of the wagon load. So we can look at it from a field perspective. This, is, this field, by the way, is... Um, about 0.75 hectares. It's, it's it's under it's under a hectare or, or a hectare or whatever they call them. Uh, it's not a full acre field or a hectare field or whatever. 
Um, so I'm going to guesstimate about 0.75, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, this field in particular is going to give us, we'll find out how much money per um, trailer load of goods this field can produce. And really, once again, what we're getting at is not necessarily exacting numbers of here's exactly how much money you can expect. What we're looking for is which crop is the most valuable overall. We're trying to find out if I have this one piece of land and I have a, you know, a choice of cedars, which seed is going to get me the most money. Uh, and I, I think there'll be a couple that are probably pretty close, but, um, you know, there's definitely, you know, different things. So like, you know, where we have potatoes and sweet beets, they aren't worth a whole lot, but you get a whole bunch of them. And, and in fact, uh, if you're doing corn versus sweet beets, you get three times as many sweet beets as you do corn. So you might actually make a lot more money growing sweet beets or potatoes. We'll find out. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and set my uh, cultivator to work here. And we're just going to hang out and get ready to plant the potatoes. Talk to you in a little bit. And as predicted, we found a big difference here. Um, interestingly, the corn takes a lot more seed than your um, than the standard uh, hold on I'm messing, I'm messing things up on my spreadsheet so uh, this actually re took 2,225 liters of potato to plant once again, to put that in perspective, both the corn and the sweet beets only took 178 liters. So the cost is, and let me find that out. Hold on one second. It's $1,335 to plant this field with potatoes. However, or to put that in perspective, once again, corn cost me $106.80. Sweet beets cost me $106.80. Potatoes cost me $1,335. It is almost 10 times more expensive to plant potatoes on the same field. So we'll see what the yield brings. I don't think it's going to give us 10 times the yield, but I could be wrong. So we'll find out. All right, so we have our taters growing. I apologize. I went back and was looking through some of the footage and found that I am missing the corn harvest portion. Not that it was that exciting, but uh, once again, I just wanted to reiterate that we collected 5,388, I guess that would be liters of corn. <laughs> liters, go figure, but yeah. Uh, and so that was the, the amount. I think I kind of made that clear, but I just want to apologize for missing that section. I don't know what happened to my recorder, but it wasn't on when that was going on. So let's go ahead, hop out, and we're going to advance time. I think I already did this, but I don't remember. I had to take a break, so here we go. Oops. Left control R. We're going to see some great demands come and go. Potatoes are growing. There they are in the third stage, and they're ready to harvest. So... Hop into this guy, and we're going to hire a worker, and he's not harvesting. Hmm. Oh, I got all excited there, and they weren't ready. <laughs> all right, a little bit longer. Here we go. Now they're ready. Okay, that's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all make mistakes, folks. You're leaving this most important question in my totally incapable hands. Here come the taters. All right, so we're going to let this guy do the harvest, and I will meet you back here in mere moments. All right, so we have done, we are finished harvesting our taters. And I'm going to run down here to the trailer, and it looks like we've got 17,781 potato liters of potatoes. Um, as so that is so far that's given us our highest weight or liter 
volume of potatoes, uh, our highest volume crop. You know, it's weird because once again, everything in this game is measured in liters, which is a volume, not a weight. So uh, it's it's a little bit awkward. It's, it's a little strange, anyway. There we go. So as far as I'm, I know, we have about seventeen thousand liters, and I'm. I'll have to double check that again. I should have written that down before I dumped those out. Oops. <laughs> All right. Well, it's pretty easy to figure out while it's overloading. That should finish overloading while I'm walking around, right? Or did it, yeah, it's still going. And I'm getting emails from YouTube. Hey, hey, well, you know, we've been really picking up steam here, guys. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given us. Um, I went from 2,000 subscribers to almost 3,000... 3,000 subscribers in about a month. So, um, month and a half, which that's really fast. I mean, let's see. All right, so I pull these forward just a little bit. Um, so I've been very happy with those results because I was not expecting it to grow that fast. Um, it took us, you know, two years to get to 2,000 subscribers. So to pick up a two third or a, an additional third of my subscribers in a month month and a half period is just incredible I think okay 17 781 I'm gonna type this down so we collected 17 781 liters and that is of potatoes so the next thing we're gonna go for is the canola so we're gonna find out how much the seed is like how much we use and all that good stuff let me meanwhile put this back together. But anyway, I feel like my channel is finally to the point where I am going to uh, hopefully reach maturity here and start to really grow. And, um, you know, I thank you for everybody that's been part of this channel uh, growing up as it's grown. And, and, you know, we do World of Tanks, World of Warships. Um, I'm not going to be able to get these back together, am I? Nope. <laughs> not good enough. Um, now I've added Euro Truck Simulator, and I am going to be very... Soonly, <laughs> pretty soon I'm going to be adding Elite Dangerous, so that probably won't be till the fall. Uh, really love the game. I played it a little bit, but I'm going to stop for a little while and just kind of get caught up on all the other things because I have, as you guys know, this is my peak season for work, so I am actually really struggling to get video content done. This is my one Saturday off, and I spent the the daytime getting uh, chores done around the house, and I am spending this evening junking out on video games and trying to get as much done as I possibly can for the channel. I've got some new tanks that I have to review. Um, and so, and plus I had this that I haven't finished. So anyway, uh, the channel is going really well and I'm excited about it and I hopefully it'll continue to grow and that you guys will, I'll be able to continue to provide you good content that you guys will enjoy. And, uh, when things come out, you know, I use that YouTube money that I make, which is not a lot. It's about, uh, figure about, uh, 40 to $50 a month. And I don't get paid until I make $100. So usually every three months I get a check for about $100. Uh, so it's not a lot of money. Some of it goes back to feeding my family because I have six kids, <laughs> for those of you that didn't know. Uh, and then some of it goes to uh, back into purchasing equipment, tanks, ships, and all the things that I need to purchase for the game uh, so that you guys have something to watch. So, um, you know, we've done reviews of the JCB. We've done reviews of the New Holland Forager. Um, I have not done the ITC runner, and I don't know that I will. I almost bought it. I have the money to buy it right now, but I just was looking at it and going, man, this is just not going to add anything to the game except for some expensive trailers. And while the concept is cool, you know, it doesn't add anything, and it's not anything cheaper, so it's not like I'm going to buy it so I can save money in the game or whatever. It doesn't get me anything. It just gets me real expensive modular trailers that hold less than the regular trailers. <laughs> so, but look cool. I don't know. I may still end up getting it. I, I, I'm still waffling on that. If I can, if it's, you know, it'll be, if I can get two to 3,000 views on that kind of video, it's worth it to me. And I probably will because all of the, all of the, all of the uh, content that I've done um, as far as reviews for this game and downloadable content have been over 2,000. So, except for the Forge Harvester, which is hanging just at, 2000 right now but I'm sure that'll go up as time goes on because it's only been up for a couple weeks so uh, what the heck happened over there why didn't that guy start working <sighs> these people I thought they were supposed to improve the workers with three with 1.3 I'm finding that they're stupider than ever 
<laughs> Come on. Get work in there, Chuck. You have to have the... Probably the header has to... Or the planter has to be closer to the field. Now, the nice thing about these, you know, these harvesters, as opposed to the corn and the potato, you don't have to... You don't have to uh, cultivate beforehand. So this is going to be done pronto. Uh, so anyway, once again, thanks for, for being a part of my channel. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Those things really help my channel grow. Um, and like I said, you know, thumbs up are a big thing because that makes us pop up, you know, first on the rankings. And uh, being subscribed helps because a lot of times we have contests. So like the next one coming up, if I reach 5,000 viewers or when I reach, I will reach it. But uh, when I reach it, hopefully in the next couple months, uh, I'm going to be giving away uh, f between $40 and $50 of whatever you want. So if you want farm sim stuff, I'll give you that. If you want tractors or truck sim stuff, the Euro Truck Simulator, I'll get you that. Um, if you're looking to get um, stuff for World of Tanks or World of Warships, you know, well, it'll be cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be giving you guys some nice gifts. So uh, anyway, uh, it helps to subscribe because it makes me know that people are interested in what I'm doing. And you can know whenever I put new videos out so you can see the content that I'm putting out. And uh, so anyway, thanks again, guys, for watching. And I am going to uh, pause it here while he finishes up the job. And then we'll get into our fast grow mode and uh, get this harvester up and popping. Right now we are planting. What are we planting? I forgot to check that. I got to make sure I change it. Uh, wheat, which is fine because we need to do wheat. So we'll do wheat first. And then we'll look at canola and uh, barley so all right catch you on the flip side all right for wheat the numbers are in um it took 223 liters of seed to plant the field as opposed to 178 for corn and sweet beets so more seed uh probably because the seeds are smaller once again oops where am i going all right mater and then um that cost so that ended up costing us instead of 106 dollars for the field it cost us 133.8 dollars which is yeah that's not bad you know really honestly when you're planting an entire field of corn for a hundred and you know or uh canola i'm sorry this is wheat uh, and i'm sure the other seeds are going to be the same we can we'll try it well I'll, I'll keep it marked but i'm i can almost guarantee you that the the amounts are going to be the same so um but that's for wheat that's right mate so I'm just typing my numbers down here, making sure everything is happy. Okay, so the wheat is planted, and we're going to hop over here and watch the corn, or the wheat, um, corn. Who is what? Who is what? Who is Oh, I don't know. Goosey's name is Violet. Oh, it's raining. Crap. Well, you know what that means. Uh, we got the okay. There we go. Don't want it to wither, <laughs> but so we had to fast forward it past the rain because you cannot harvest in the rain. So now we got this big guy going. I'm in there. That's right. What is it? What is that, Mater? A what? A combo. You mean a combine? Say that. Say combine. There you go. What else can you call it? You can call it a harvester, right? Har what, are these? what? What are what? The wheels. Oh, those wheels? Yeah. Those are tracks. See, it's still counting as rain, so crap. So we're gonna have to fast forward time a little bit here. Um, there we go. So we'll try this again. Hire a worker, and I'm gonna hop out and let this guy do his work. There we go, and he's going to thresh the wheat. So I will be back once he's finished, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so we have our, our harvest done for the wheat, and, and while I did it, I also seeded the canola behind the wheat. So we should be ready to go with the next field here, not wasting any time. Uh, we have 5,338. That number should sound familiar because that's the exact same amount of corn that we got. So... Apparently this field gives us the same amount of corn and the same amount of wheat. All right, so I'm going to mark this down. 5,338. Now we know canola is not going to give us that much at all because canola is, um, I think, a smaller berry. 
couple up here. Get ready to harvest. Now we're going to hop over in this tractor. The interesting thing too, now for seeding canola, it actually took a little bit more seed to seed the canola. You know, usually I get exact numbers, but uh, this took a little bit more. Now maybe it's because I was running it versus a hired worker. I don't know, but I coverage is coverage. I mean, 100% coverage is 100% coverage. So uh, it took about 10 more seed to do this. So we are looking at... Um, we had 12,000 minus 11, 688. For you math whizzes out there, it was 312 as opposed to two, 223. That's a pretty big difference. That's almost 100 more seed needed to plant canola. So apparently canola requires more seed. Uh, and that cost us at 60 cents a pop. So we have 100 and, or sorry, there, 312 seed, liters of seed times 60 cents was $187 to plant that crop. So 187. So it's a good thing we're keeping track of this. 187.2. Because we need to subtract that from our, our collected value because it costs us to plant this stuff. And we know, once again, we're not factoring in fertilization. Uh, fertilizer costs quite a bit of money. So, uh, but it also doubles your yield supposedly. So we'll look at that in another video. Tonight we're just looking at the straight growth. So, oops. <laughs> we'll fill this guy back up. And that should cost us 185 euros. So why did it say 312? Hmm. Oh no, that was right, 187.2. So they rounded down a little bit. I was close though, the numbers are very close, so. It should have cost us 186, 187, and I think it said 185, so. Good enough. Close enough. It ain't going to be exact, but it's going to be close enough that, uh, what do they call that? Uh, close enough for government work? <laughs> All right. My apologies if you're a government worker. Uh, all right, so we have um, our canola planted. So once again, let's see, I'm going to type all this down, make sure I have the information, 187.2, and blank those out because I typed them in the wrong space. All right, so let's go ahead and warp time. Here we go, control R. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nutty professor. And there's a great demand at the biogas for silage. But we're not doing silage in this one, so. All right, we'll let that harvester harvest. And uh, why is he not going? Must have pressed the wrong, stop it. Where's Cremini? And in this guy, we're gonna hop in. We're gonna get him ready to plant some barley. Now, you see, I have all these extra fruits in there. We could check those out some other time, but I want this just to be... We're just looking at the in-game stuff. So there's our barley. And we can come over here and unfold our harvest... Or our, sorry, our planter. And get this party started. So while he's finishing up there... Yeah, I did. Didn't I? Okay. We can begin planting. And that way I can get... Kill two birds with one stone... Off we go. All right, I'll be back, folks. All right, so all right. So, uh, done planting canola. Now the canola, we got two six six nine. So, I wonder. Let's take a look at this here. If I take the canola times two, it gives us five three three eight. So you get exactly half the amount of canola that you do of corn. Whoops! Wow, nice driving. Uh, corn or wheat. So the canola is exactly half the yield. Interesting. So I am a trailer short. <laughs> Somehow I planned for five crops and got six. <laughs> Wait a minute. Potatoes, radishes, corn, 
Oh, yeah, we, and then the three grains. Okay, that makes sense. Duh. Okay, so we're going to pull this guy up here. And we're going to take a look now. I've planted barley, and he's not done. He left, he left a streak. Fail. Okay, so I'm going to just, whatever, he's just going to park there. Let's go take a look at this guy. And looks like it's going to be 11777 again. So that's cool. Bob went home before I dismissed him. So you're fired. All right. So the last thing we're going to need to do before we do the final solve, I need to run down to the store and grab one more trailer for our uh, trailer train. And I probably should hook this. Yeah, there we go. So 11777. So the numbers are going to be the same as wheat. We will have used 223... Whoops, 223 liters. The cost will be $133.80. Or 0 0.8. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna guesstimate that, how much you guys wanna bet that we're gonna get 5338 for our yield? <laughs> What was the other one? 2669? Yeah, 2669. So exactly half. All right. So let's go ahead and pop this guy off. Let me, actually, we need to move the cedar out of the way. So we're going to move the cedar over here. And we're going to grab the big case puma because the case puma is going to be our trailer train. In the meantime, we're going to speed up time. Oops. Because we're going to start advancing so the crops will start growing. And I'm going to take my little... Yeah, see, and the only thing that I want to avoid... We want to avoid the great demands. So we might have to fast forward time if the highest payer has a great demand on for one of the products that we're selling. We'll figure that out. But I don't, I don't want great demand um, influencing our results. And it will. So we have to be careful. So let's go on down. We're going to do the fast route, folks. We're going to off-road down to the store, through the forest. Try to do this without failing. Actually, I've been on the ground. thought I'd be airborne a lot more than I have been. <laughs> All that crazy driving only to die by getting hit by a van. Uh, okay, so let's go to the store. And we need to buy another one of these Fleagle Bulls. I know I don't need that much, but they're just easier to attach. I probably actually could get away with the little Brantners at the, the mounts. Though we needed the Flegel Bulls for the potatoes and the ra uh, sweet beets. I keep calling them radishes, but they're, they're not radishes. Radishes are terrible tasting. See, now there's a great demand for corn. So that's going to throw our results off. So we're going to make sure we don't do it. There's a great demand for the item that we're selling. And that's going to suck because it's going to make us have to fast forward time a little bit. But once again, guys, this is a guesstimate. It's a close or a close to mint. <laughs> We're going to get it as close as we can to reality. Uh, but we have two great demands going on right now. We're going to try to get it so that there's no great demands and then we'll start delivering. So Seems like every day there's at least one. Come on, little track tour. It's actually a big tractor, but it's little for comparison to our big tractors that we have running over here. Alrighty. So we are almost right as rain here. I'm gonna. Yes, Evelyn. Well, I'm still doing this tutorial. Uh, we can do that right afterwards if you want, but I, I kind of want to do the truck sim. I think I'm gonna do the trucking sim. No, we'll talk about it. Let me let me ever let me finish my tutorial. Yes. Okay. Good job. Go get it finished. What? What? Nope. You can. You can fly, Evelyn. You can fly. You can fly. You can clean. You can clean. You can clean. Think of the wonderful things that your room will look like when it's clean. You'll be able to see the floor. There'll be no more ants anymore. Cause there'll be no more crumbs. 
Okay, obviously, um, I forgot you have to have a weight, so that takes this guy out of the equation, along with the New Holland. So we'll default over to our other JCB, which still has 310 odd horsepower. Should be more than enough to get the job done, though going uphill we're going to have issues, but this guy's got a lot of power, so. Oh, look at this. I was wrong. So Barley gives us a higher yield. Oh, no, a lower yield. Really? Hang on a second. John. Okay. So we actually have, I'm sorry, lower yield. We have 4,893 liters of barley. So that's a little bit lower than the other yields. All right. So now it's time to get the great demands. Looks like the great demands are over. So that's good. Hopefully one won't come up. But we're going to start here um, systematically going through our crops and selling them. So while this guy's unloading, let's take a look at our indicator and see who's paying what for what. So our first trailer is barley, and unfortunately barley is down right now. And that's the things that we're going to deal with. We don't have the ability to stop that from happening. So it looks like 732 is our best price at the grain elevator. Now, if I remember right, that's very close to where we are. So if I look at number nine, which is our map, the grain elevator should be right at the top of the hill. Yep. So we are going to hop in the tractor and take our barley to the grain elevator. Right now it's selling for 700 and something liters. <laughs> Heavy load coming through. I don't think we're going to reach full speed going up these hills. <laughs> Though these trailers are all fairly empty. They're not... I'm only carrying 51,000 liters, which is like one big trailer. So, actually, the trailers are heavy, though. But the crops I have are not that heavy. Avoid the question mark. Stay away. But uh, as I predicted, this tractor is not having any issues pulling these trailers up the hills. Uh, it's got enough horsepower. And as we go, we'll dump trailers off, too. So, Come on, baby. Mm. Looks like I might need 600 horsepower as opposed to 300. Look at this. But we'll make it. It's starting to slip a little bit, though. You can see the traction going. That's one thing I really wish they would model in this game, maybe for the next version. Uh, mud, uh, like ground, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like um, like ruts being made into the mud and stuff like that if you keep going over stuff when it's wet or going back and forth over the same trail. Uh, and then also, you know, traction issues like slipping and stuff like that. Because right now they have mild slipping, but they don't really have actual like slipping slipping. So uh, we're going to drop all the other trailers for now. So we're going to just take the barley. So right now, let's go for the barley. We have our sell point. This is our highest sell point right now here at the grain elevator. And let's keep an eye on how much money we make and we'll write it down. Three thousand five hundred and seventy nine. So I'm going to take that down. Three thousand Five hundred and seventy-nine dollars made from that trailer load. Now, um, and I think once again we're playing on normal, if I remember right. Now, if I take that, so I got three thousand five hundred and seventy-nine dollars, and I'm going to subtract the cost that it cost me to buy the seed. The seed was a hundred and thirty-three dollars and eight cents. So one thirty-three dot eight, and that gives us a result of actually. We totally made $3,445.02. Now, unfortunately, bar Shh, hang on a second, Mater. Unfortunately, barley was down when we sold. So that may not be a totally accurate representation, but at the moment, that's what the, re the representation is. If we're real close on a crop, you could say maybe some of them will be the same. You know what I mean? So like, we if wheat also gives us the same amount of money... Well, you could say possibly that on a good day, wheat could actually be worth, you know, less than barley or more than barley. Why did you do that? Okay, let's not rip things. So let's now look at our next 
crop. We may have to break something out of the train. So let's look here at shift I. What crop is next? Uh, the next one in here is corn. Trying to see who's got the high prices at the grain elevator so we can break those out. Not canola, not corn. I know, Mama's out playing with her friends. Looks like, uh, yeah, barley. Wheat, hang on, let's see what wheat is. Shh, hang on a second, matey. 65, so none of them. Wow, none of them. So let's look at the next crop in our truck then. So we have, uh, or in our train. We have, we have, uh, oh, sorry, mate. We have corn. Looks like 514 is the best price, and that's at the transport company. I believe that's down by the ocean. So we'll drive down there. Oh, no, that's the closer one. Okay, transport company's closer. So let's go ahead and grab our, our cowern. And I'll catch up with you once I get down. All right, so here comes the moment of truth. We're going to sell the corn. I have a feeling it's not going to be worth anything near what the barley was worth. So at its highest price, that's 2000 741. Let's type that down. 2,741. And we're going to take away minus. Whoops. 2741. Minus 133.8 equals 26072. 26072. 2607. Oops. John, please stop that. All right. So corn, eh, not MVP or MVC in this case. It's not the most valuable crop for sure. Okay. Let's uh, see what else is next. So we're going to hop into our list again, and here we are at the transport company, 1,172. Looks like canola is going to be highest here. What else do we got? Six, wheat and barley. Wheat's definitely not. Canola, yes. Potatoes. No. Sugar beet, yes. So sugar beets and what I say? Wheat. No. Sugar beets and canola. Okay, so we're doing the sugar beets next. So sugar beets. Watch the numbers, watch the numbers, watch the numbers. Here we go. 6,757 euros. Six. So the profit on the sweet beets was a cool 6,650.2. Okay, very nice. So, so far we have canola, our corn. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it all straightened out. I subtracted the corn from the wrong thing. So the corn was, uh, the sell value was 27.41, but we have with the seed it was 26.34.2 being the lowest so far. So we'll get it all up there, but hold on. So far it looks like the sweet beets are killing it, man. So we'll get this trailer out of the way. Now we're gonna do the canola, because canola is still highest priced here. So we'll find the little trailer with the blackberries in it. These are taters. Oops. Come on. We move the taters off to the side. And we're gonna grab the can that's wheat. Oh, I shouldn't have broken that up. Oh well. 
Dang it. <laughs> oh, I'm just making my life miserable here. All right, so I'm going to drive. Like you said, disorganized I am, and here I am trying to make a video about numbers. But somehow, it's all working out. I'm not ready for you to join yet. Get too bad. No, you can't. Don't touch it. That's my spreadsheet for the thing I'm doing, Evelyn. <laughs> Don't just walk in and start pressing buttons. Okay, so 3,127. 3,127. And we're going to take that. 3,127 and subtract. The cost of the seed was 187.2. That equals... Oh, that's terrible. 29398. 29 dot 8. Right? Oh, I typed it in the wrong spot. 2939 dot 8. <laughs> okay, so now we need to do the wheat and the potatoes. So, so far. Well, Sweet Beats is killing it, man. So let's go ahead and grab the wheat. We'll pull out the front. Can you close my door, please? I had it closed for a reason. My kids make me nuts. I close my door. They come in. They open the door. I tell them to close the door. They come back in and open the door. It's like every 10 minutes I have to ask somebody to close the door. <laughs> Just leave the freaking door closed. Mater. Would you close my door, please? Okay, wheat highest cost is at the well, the grain elevator six sixty seven, windmill six eighty five. Potatoes, the highest price is at the shipping office. So we've got the shipping office and the windmill. So let's get to it. We'll go to the shipping office first for the taters, and then we'll swing south again and go to the um, other thingy, to the windmill for the wheat. Oh, look out, folks. Tractor, loose tractor on the road, flipping around like a flibberty gibbet. And yes, that was a Sound of Music reference, for those of you who don't know. I amuse myself. Oh! Oh, geez. Okay. Probably need to wait on the front or not to go so fast. Just because a tractor can go 45 miles an hour doesn't mean that necessarily you should. All right, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Look how pretty that is. The coast, the beach. Endless ocean. It's gorgeous. It actually really is kind of cool. Reminds me of Lake Erie. Or Lake Superior. Lake Erie's never blue. It's always greenish brown. <laughs> Not because it's dirty, but because it's shallow, so it gets stirred up real easily. Unlike Lake Superior, where it's like super deep, and so then the water ends up looking blue like that. All right, so here we have our tater delivery. And I don't think we have to disconnect for this. I can do two trailers. I can handle not dumping the wheat in. All right, so the potatoes are getting dumped. Let's watch the numbers. Are you ready? Seven thousand one hundred and forty-eight. Oh man! But the cost of the seed is what's going to kill it. So let's take a look. We got seven thousand one hundred and forty-eight dollars. Minus $1,335 for the seed. Total value, $5,813. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have a winner. Now, we're going to dump the wheat off just for the sake of finishing the video. But we know who won. Who won, guys? This was 3,653. Let's put it in there. 3,653. 
and we're going to subtract it. Minus $133.80 to plant it. $35,192. So $3,519.20. So, going over the results, I know you guys thought that I was going to say that Sweet Beets are the winner. But, potatoes have a surprise for us. And that is this. You can fill the potato seeder with potatoes that you've already harvested. That's right. Uh, because they're just potatoes that you plant, you can go down to your potato bin where you store them and you can load your potato seeder for the win. <laughs> they're for free. So um, even though the sweet beets, if you're looking from a seeding perspective and you're seeding the field for the first time, the sweet beets will beat you out. But after the first time, the potatoes are going to win over and over again because there is a zero cost on the seed for the potatoes. As long as you store some, you got to make sure you keep, you know, back enough potatoes in your, uh, in your harvest shed that you have enough for seeding. But if you, you know, and this game, you know, unfortunately in real life too, this has happened. Major corporations have taken over the farming industry. They've genetically modified seeds so that, uh, if you, and this has happened in America in a, the worst way, thanks to uh, Monsanto, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pointing a finger at you, Monsanto. Uh, farmers that would grow their plants and then get their seeds and save them and then use them again next year so they wouldn't have to buy new seed. Um, those guys got screwed, basically. Monsanto uh, genetically modified seeds to have a marker that would show uh, scientists that it was their own seed. And so, let's say a farmer grows a, a crop with heritage seeds, like his own seeds, and then the guy next door grows a crop with, um, you know, both of them are growing corn, and the guy next door grows corn using Monsanto's genetically modified seed, well, his seed is going to germinate over into the other guy's farm. Now, after a couple generations, the Monsanto gene is going to show up in the heritage corn. Then what Monsanto will do, and this is they've done this over and over again, there's a huge special called Food Inc. that shows this happening, they go to people's farms that are using heritage seeds and they say, we're suing you because you have our genetics in your corn. So they use nature to screw people. And it's a very sad situation. But anyway, uh, in this game, you cannot use seed once you've harvested. So you can't save like wheat and then go and replant that wheat. Uh, but the potatoes, you can actually use your potatoes, just like in real life, as seeds. So uh, the actual MVC for Farming Simulator 2015, and we're talking non-modified, okay? These are non-mod crops. If you want to look at mod crops, well, there's a whole bunch of them. And like you can see, as I was going through my cedar here, oops, wrong button. I've got some other, I don't even know what these are. This is some kind of plant, peas, sunflowers. I don't even know how you'd harvest those. I don't know what that is. It's, the picture's not real descriptive. Maybe poppies? I don't know. Then, then there was two of those. There was one that looked like... There's that, which is kind of straight up and down. And there's that, which is the same thing, it looks like. I don't know. I can't tell, but... Maybe grass, different kinds of grass. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, there's a whole bunch of other harvests that you can have. But this is dealing specifically with the mod... Um, the modified seeds. So, or non-modified seeds, I'm sorry. So out of all of them, um, Potatoes has a surprise uh, whipping out of its pocket secret that you can actually use your potato seeds. And I want to thank you, um, I think it was, uh, hold on. I just wanted to verify that the guy that showed me this was James Kelly. So shout out to you, James, for pointing that out to me. But uh, that does change things. So uh, originally I thought Sweet Beets was the winner because of the seed cost. But because you don't have to pay for the seeds for the potatoes, they're actually free once you do your first batch. Well, <laughs> in fact, what I would do is I'd plant this field the first time, harvest it, and then just use this as your seeding field and always make potatoes here and save these and then seed from them and then keep the rest. So um, anyway, James Kelly, thank you again for that note. Uh, because of you, this video has been changed, and now the potatoes are actually the winner. So here we go. We're going to go through the top producers here. 
Uh, at number one, we have this, the potatoes, $7,148 per this field. So 0.75 hectic, hectic acres at this particular time and date. Now that can fluctuate, but I would think it would not, unless there's a great demand, it's not going to fluctuate so much that um, it's going to switch places because it is actually almost, well, it is $600 better than Sweet Beets at $6,650. Uh, and then the next runner up is going to be, so Sweet Beets is second place, uh, 6,650. Wheat is in third place at 3,519, followed by Barley, 3,445. Those two are real close and they probably could switch places. Uh, Canola's next at 2,939. Now, Canola is interesting if you're into grains because Canola actually is easier to harvest and easier to transport because it, there's only half as much. <laughs> so you get a little bit of loss as far as, you know, value. But if you're looking for an automated crop where you can just send a harvester out, that guy's going to be busy harvesting. Instead of going one pass and needing to be unloaded, he's going to make two or three passes. Well, probably two passes because they're exactly half of what the wheat is. Uh, so you have more time to do other things. And also, when you go to transport canola, you can fit twice as much value in a single trailer. So you know, 5,000, if you have a, a, a 10,000 capacity trailer, 10,000 canola is going to get you a lot more money than 10,000 wheat. It's going to get you double. So even though <laughs> you're not getting as much canola, it's hard to explain that so people understand it. You're you're still making more money with wheat or, or barley, but um, the canola is easier because you don't have to make as many trips back and forth. So looking at it from an economical standpoint of how many times do you want to drive back and forth to the grain elevator, how many times do you want to, you know, stop and get the stuff off the harvester, canola is an interesting crop because it fits a niche that is different. So, uh, and then last but not least, we have corn at 2,634. That is the lowest yield of all of them. But corn is good for silage. So if you're doing ethanol or biofuel, fuel, um, corn is the crop to grow. Uh, and, you know, sometimes there's great demand for corn, which shoots it up to, you know, 6,000 or 5,000. So uh, it is worth having on hand uh, in storage, but it's not, it's definitely the worst crop as far as value. So once again, potatoes number one, sweet beets two, wheat three, barley four, canola five, and corn six. Guys, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Long to see you on the farm. Uh, we are uh, the, the farm server is going to be up. I'm going to start releasing videos from that right now. It's just chawing me on there because I've only got two tractors, but uh, I will be opening it up for people to play on. So uh, you're welcome to you know, get information about it and how to get on there. And if you're lucky, you may end up in an episode. So <laughs> have a great night, guys, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Also, thumbs up if you like the video. Talk to you soon.